Let's talk about this T.I. thing, man. Um, T.I. is one of my favorite rappers of all time. He's the, definitely the king of the South. Um, I, he has a great track record. If anyone has the time, check out Dime Track. I think that was an album that came out last year that didn't get enough. It's a very good album. But that being said, man, he made, he made a kind of dirtbag kind of move. Uh, with his daughter, his daughter's 18 years old, I believe, and her whole life, and Tati right here is a female, and I definitely would love to hear her point of view on this. So apparently her whole life, or maybe her teenage life, he has been taking his 18, well, she's 18 now, and he actually took it recently while she was 18, but he's been taking her to the doctor every year to check her hy- hy- hymen yeah. to make sure she has not been having sex. Yes. Wow, talk about a hey, violation there's, there's, of privacy. There's more to it than that. Go ahead. There's more to it than that. Not only, there's not more? only. Oh, yeah, it gets That's pretty awesome. bad. That's All pretty right. bad. It's, it's, <laughs> it sounds bad. It gets worse, right? So check it out. Not only is he in the room, right, while the doctor is in here checking stuff, okay? Why? He's basing her financial support on whether or not she's dating and having sex which is wrong already but in addition to those two things the doctor they go to has already told ti that whether or not the hymen's there is not a good indicator can break at any time. yeah and, and the doctor has said that yes, yeah and like born. horseback riding Horse- soccer sports you name anytime, it anytime yeah. but right and the doctor has told him that and <laughs> ti's response which is classic T.I. It was funny as hell. T.I.'s response was, yo, she's not doing any of those things like horseback riding checking anyway. <laughs> I can imagine him, yo, I can his imagine voice? him doing like <laughs> using those dictionary words to be using. Oh my you God. You better check that exponentially. <laughs> whatever he says. <laughs> So upset. So, Tati, the only female in the room, I would love to hear your perspective on this this man telling his daughter that she cannot have sex, and he only bases her financial decisions on her not having sex, and him taking her to the doctor to check <laughs> to make sure that thing is not popped. Oh man, that cherry is still this. on the tree. <laughs> he wants to make sure that cherry is still on the vine. What is your thoughts? Oh my god. I mean, I don't agree with this in any way, but like, why did he at least have? Yo, facts. At least. You know what's bananas? <laughs> he probably doesn't trust his wife. He needs to be honest. You know the story with her and uh, Floyd Mayweather. He probably doesn't trust his wife. That's even funnier. You're the first person to say that. I've had this conversation a couple times, and no one has been like, why didn't the mom just take her? I mean, <laughs> it's logic, it's logically. <laughs> That'd be so weird. Uh, They're checking my vagina. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> That's what the, no. Oh, man. It's already oh embarrassing. God. Dad! <laughs> no! Spread them open! I can't imagine a more uncomfortable thing to have to do. Oh my god. And now it's public oh. knowledge. And now it's And now you gotta know. That's and now, really messed up. Now yeah. everybody on Twitter has an opinion he, on this girl's uterus. Why did he... Who did he tell that? To it was, it was, it was, it was in a, a podcast, podcast or something. Yeah, you're yeah. saying it on podcast. Why? They got that sound bite. It's all over the world. Everybody yeah, on Twitter has a, uh, a comment on this girl's vagina. It's just like, I'm gonna tell you that I did that? I think it probably came up in the context of, like, raising your kids. Yeah. You know, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they were kind of talking about just parenting and good parenting in general. And he, like, levied this as an example of effective parenting. And I guess holding your kids monetarily hostage works or something. Is he doing this for his sons? Is that what you're going to ask? Because that's what I asked. How would... What, what, How do you check? How do you check? <laughs> I know, but you also... We already established that just because you take your daughter to the doctor to check that doesn't Anything because there's uh, like I just Anything said, there's, there's girls that literally don't have them. They're not born with them. And so you, it's not a good indicator of whether they have had sex or not. So it's the equivalent to taking your son and having them look at his penis and say, Oh, he had sex or he didn't. It's, it's <laughs> the exact same thing. I'm gonna it's do- the exact same. I'm going to yeah, defend him just a little bit, and it's going to be a terrible defense. It's going to be the reach. You were already reach. canceled before. It's already, so. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be a reach, which I don't even agree with what I'm about to say. But it's Why just, are you saying it? I'm just trying to. He's not here to defend himself, so I'm trying to give him a little defense. Okay, I'm a father, and I don't have a doubt. Say we don't want our daughters having sex. We don't want to imagine that. I can't, I can't get on that team with you, man, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to be that guy. It's not my team. I don't agree with it. Well, no, no. <laughs> okay, not with you. So, you know what's bananas, man? So, I've lived a lot of places yeah. in life, right? And I want my son having sex anymore than I want my daughter. I want all of my kids fucking. Like, like please. Like, look, 
everywhere I've ever lived, right, that has been sex positive and treated sex like a thing that people do when they have the correct information, there's less everything negative associated with sex. When I lived in Germany, because healthcare is like super cheap and everything over there, uh, I was dating a girl and her little sister had like just like started having her period and stuff, you know? And she was like at the age where they were like, okay, she's probably gonna start having sex. So they like got her on birth control, you know what I'm saying? And it was a regular thing and no one made a big deal about it. I don't know any Germans with like teenage pregnancies. You know, all of my yeah. German friends are good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Out here, everyone I went to high school with that owns a vagina, with the exception of like four or five women, have kids. You know, which is cool if you wanted kids. Yeah. You know, but I feel like that's the thing we're trying to prevent. So the harder you try, it's like prohibition yeah. with drinking. Exactly. Yeah. The more that you tell them to not do it, the more they're going to And I was just I definitely about, was that kid in school. I was doing I was everything. just about to say something. Now, my defense on TI is gone because, like I said, Nobody wants to see that. You, you said you did. Now, my, <laughs> you said my, you other, did. my other like, uh, offense now that I wanted to say is um, now that you want her to not have sex, guess what? That mouth is now wide open. Yo, facts. You are. <laughs> <laughs> you, just increased, you just increased her dick-sucking probability to 100%. Oh, man. She's going to be always... with a boy right now and be like, listen, we can't have sex. My dad's going to check the coochie. And he's going to be like, what? And she's like, never uh, mind. Mormon but rules I apply. I fuck you off right now, baby. Mormon rules apply. It's butt stuff, hand <laughs> stuff, and oral. That's all you're getting, man. And I'm gonna, I ain't going to lie to you, and I have my preference. I would rather my daughter having sex than be sucking dick everywhere. And like I said, I can't control what she does. But listen, I would rather her. Your I would rather face. have sex than suck a dick. I'm sorry. I do not want to picture my daughter with a dick oh, in her mouth. Not any than the other. It's not, not. It's not. It's not. Oh my want, god. I don't want oh a dick god. in my daughter's mouth. Is my oh point. Oh my god, that is the funniest shit I have ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Okay, well, let's go around the circle. Daughter. Let's go around the circle. Would you rather your daughter have sex or suck dick? Yes. <laughs> All of the I eat pussy. You know what I'm saying? It's your Shit. daughter, man. Okay, I want my son to eat pussy. Human beings, <laughs> like, do your thing. As long as you're not out here doing it like 14 or something. Okay, and then she's gonna be eating pussy, huh? Is that what it is? We're on the same team, so it's fine. <laughs> what about you? You're matching jerseys. Would you rather your daughter having sex or sucking dick? Like I said, <laughs> Team, they're yes. Equally, like, no. they're, e they're, they're equally sexual activity. Let us know in the comments what you Let us know in the comments. We're going to set that shit up as a poll. I don't want any child of mine that, like. And what sucks is she's 18. Boy or girl to be, like, out there, like, really, really young and, like, doing yeah. stuff like that. Go like, play with your Barbies. Like, a little bit older, you yeah. know, like, I mean, like, they're getting really close to being an adult pretty soon. Their like, hormones are going a, crazy. It's a cool thing to do, and I don't want to, like, I want to teach them, like, that this is, this is a normal thing to do, and, like, you shouldn't feel bad for feeling the way that you feel. Like, Facts. It's a very human thing to do. So, I have, like, the unique experience of not only getting to like so like when i was a kid right most of the people in my family are like medical professionals like i have like aunts uncles cousins they're like doctors nurses and stuff so not only do i get to talk i got to talk with slides <laughs> and like like textbook link like 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 not to brag i have a very good understanding of vaginas and how they work like i am good you know what i'm saying so i went into I the situation prepared a, i just pictured you at with your family with the slides with like, notes and shit like this is why i should have sex mother slide one it's fun <laughs> Slide two. I'm, I'm prepared. Changing notes like, when he right. <laughs> Got those note cards on. Show up in a suit. It's like a Toastmasters presentation, you know? And in conclusion. <laughs> he has hors d'oeuvres over there on the side. Go ahead. What were you saying? Oh, though? man. It's pigs and blankets and little miniature quiche tacos. Quiche tacos? <laughs> oh, dude. Have you never had a quiche taco? I've had quiche. I've had tacos. It's effectively a quiche wrapped in, like, a small tortilla I that you like to <laughs> It's really good. I have to make it. That's too funny. But no, but so like, but I knew a lot of other people who didn't get that information. You know what I'm saying? So like, you had folks out here doing everything with everybody unprotected with no knowledge. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Out here wilding it. You could see it. And there's nothing weirder than like being on the like informed end of a decision and having to like correct people about stuff. It's like, hey, that's, I wouldn't do that. You can't put on two condoms because they're both just going to pop. You're definitely going to catch AIDS <laughs> or whatever it is going on. You know what I'm saying? That's too funny, man. And it's, it's really bananas. Like the more you 
try to prevent people from getting that knowledge. They're gonna go get it from somewhere. Oh, of course. You know of what I'm course. saying? So why am I out here trying to prevent you from having sex or sucking a dick if it's Thursday and that's what you want to do? Oh, yeah, yo, and then you got those porn expectations. So much worse. Exactly. <laughs> you know, oh man. The worst thing to want. I do not want to picture my son while opening the door like, "Oh, daddy, no! What is that?" <laughs> do y'all have any friends that uh, that like waited? For any friends at all? Yes, nope, good. None. No. Zero. zero. Do y'all? This is it. This is it. Well, you know I, what? I You're in good company. Here. <laughs> he gave me a Corona, and I was like, "I'm a cheap daily." Do y'all have any friends that like waited till marriage? No. No. None. Uh, maybe. None. But I don't believe them. They say that, but I don't believe it. I have friends. But I don't have any who have waited forever it. until marriage. I do have friends who have waited to even sleep and with I the person they married. I bet that stuff for them psychology. Uh, it did. Psychology. So, like, everyone yeah. I know who waited until marriage, even if you just waited to sleep with that person until you married them, their sex life is trash, and they're trying to get a divorce. And they're just sad yeah. to get a divorce. But you know why? For, for the guys, it's because they're all clogged the fuck up. That's probably why. <laughs> it's coming out of your ears and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Those people oh. become mass, mass murderers. There it is. So, but for the girls, they... They just, they're just so fucking awkward with it, too. But, yeah, no, I agree with you. I think that's that actually might even cause mental health if they're not, you know, just, like, experimenting and, and you gotta, enjoying You got to get out there, man. You got to, man. And, and the terrible thing about Clogged this... I'm sorry, up. go ahead. Sorry, I was just going to say, like, like, growing up in church and stuff, like, like, don't do this, you know, you need to wait, and, like, not have sex, whatever. And it's like, okay, cool, that's, like, your belief, but then, like... It's weird that they make you feel so shitty for feeling like a human being. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a human emotion. You, you were created to reproduce. Yeah, right. Go out there and smash. That's literally what they tell you. Yeah. And when you and get that feeling, <laughs> <laughs> you need condoms at that age. That's what you need. It doesn't make sense. And what it sucks? Doesn't. What sucks about this whole story? What's exactly what? What sucks about this whole story? She's 18 now. <laughs> she's a grown woman. Yeah. She can say no. She can, but then she, then he's not gonna give her any more the money. Financial stuff. Yeah. So he's exactly. gotta buy the, the vagina. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, he that just was the story. It. She's 18 years old and she still still did it. Um. Yeah. So. Um, I think what what did he, there was a there was a number he gave. I don't remember what the number was, but he said until you're this age or whatever wow. it was. And it's past 18. I think it was. I think wow. I think in his head the goal is for her to like finish college and be like established and stuff. Which, I mean, I get wanting that for your kids, but, you know, dick her, isn't going to prevent that. Exactly. I know plenty of people with phenomenal degrees that make six figures that have enjoyed Dog, some dick. I went to school <laughs> with a porn star. She is went to school with way several. way more money than we are right Facts. now, brother. Facts. She's doing good. Shout out to Margot Neem. <laughs> She's doing great. She's proud of her profession. She'd be like, yeah. Hey, link, uh, link, link to Twitter in the, <laughs> in the doobly-doo. We just promoted her. People gonna see if we can get the out. video sponsored. <laughs> That'd be great. That would be That'd great. Be great. You gotta wear the Pornhub shirt. <laughs> sponsored by. Well, that, that sucks though. But even she's 18 years old, and now her uterus is all out there for the for everybody the to comment to see, on. Bro. It sucks. Ti, yeah. you're a phenomenal artist. I respect you. I love what you're doing right now for the black community. But uh, yeah, leave the, leave your daughter. Your daughter is a grown woman. You, this is what we should stop doing Why as males, think, speaking for women, and, and you know, doing making decisions for them. Stop that shit. Why Go ahead. Think he felt that he to yeah. I can answer that. Okay. All right. So speak for two. Oh, right. <laughs> Lean on in. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm gonna end up in a song. Now one dude on YouTube. Nah, um, we know TI's history with like kids and women though. So like categorically kids, yeah. Hello kids. Categorically, right, whenever you see dudes that do this once they have a daughter, and I'm overreaching here, right? So this is the worst instance of this headspace. Right, but uh, categorically, when, when when dudes do this for women or for their daughters, it's because they didn't really see women as people all the way until they had daughters. Right, so now it's oh my god, how do I prevent all of the dudes on earth from doing the things I did to my wife, to my daughter, instead of you know giving your daughter the tools? Yeah, and instead of instead of facts, and instead of coming to terms with that with that guilt and that cognitive dissonance because mm -hmm. it's really difficult to look at your daughter as a person and 
understand that, man, maybe I don't see women as people. So what happens is instead of making that connection and being a better person, dudes will start to see their daughter as property, which is kind of what T.I. slid into some. Sounds like it, yeah. You know, and it's like, this is my daughter. And and, and, and you've stepped out of the my daughter's a person box into the my daughter's a sandwich, and I don't want a dick in my sandwich kind of situation. That's so. good. Or the sandwich's mouth. Right? <laughs> yeah, <what is> it? <laughs> don't put your dick in food. Well, so, my, my closing statement on this, man, is uh, I, like I said, I respect T.I., but listen, T.I., you can't speak for injustice of like the black community and then like <laughs> want to control women. Like It doesn't work. It's kind of con- contradicting. So, And that kind of kind of messes with his reputation. Now, every time he talks about injustice or like... Uh, what about your daughter's vagina? What about your daughter's vagina? Have, have that same energy for your daughter's vagina? Oh, man. That's got to suck. Who is going to be bold enough to put that in the joint. I'm not. He's got Neither guns and shit. No. He's got guns. <laughs> he really didn't. didn't tell anybody that. So yeah. If that's gonna like ruin his reputation, like it's not. Yes, no. I'm still gonna listen to his music. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm. I'm <laughs> we know. Like, he still listens to R. Kelly. Like, <laughs> I, I would doubt anything like that will happen. Yeah, no. Nah, but nah. like, what you're talking about with like him being like simple. Yeah. yeah. Civil rights. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I think it did mess with his credibility a little though. Yeah. Because he his main thing when he talks about injustice, it's all about like equality, prison reform and stuff. He's really out there for the black community right yep. now. Like him and Killer Mike are doing their thing, especially in Atlanta. But I think this really did put a hindrance on a little bit. 